We'd like to wish you all a warm welcome to our chemical park. We hope you enjoy working here. If you have any questions, please contact the site security staff as your first point of call. Our chemical park has numerous characteristics with which you must familiarize yourself. Your personal safety, the safety of our staff, our neighbors, and the environment is of particular importance to us. All the general safety regulations will be explained to you in the safety film. We will show you how to conduct yourself in a safe manner in order to avoid injury to yourself or a coworker. In the event that an accident does occur, we will demonstrate the correct procedure and explain what medical care is available to you. You will be shown the rules regarding traffic on the chemical park site, which must be adhered to at all times. The correct behavior in emergency situations will be explained as well as the correct procedures for the protection of the environment. Mobile phone calls are only allowed in the marked traffic routes in the canteen area. Mobile phones are not permitted for use on the company grounds. Devices that are not explosive safe must not, under any circumstances, be brought into hazardous areas. It is forbidden to carry or consume alcohol or drugs anywhere on the chemical park site. Smoking is only permitted in the designated smoking areas. This blanket smoking ban also applies to all vehicles. Personal use of headphones, regardless of type, is banned on the premises of the Gendorf Chemical Park. Eating and drinking is only allowed in designated areas, such as the company restaurant and social rooms. Taking photos and videos is forbidden throughout the entire site. You may not bring pets on the premises. This code of conduct applies to all employees at the chemical park under the Gandorf Integrated Management System, GEMS for short, which can be viewed on the intranet. There you will find a summary of all the work policies on health, safety, and environmental protection. Information for third-party firms can be obtained from the Gendorf Chemical Park website. Signs bearing these symbols are intended for your safety. This information can be found in the areas on the site where special care and protective measures are required. These signs are intended to assist you in emergency situations. On the production site, there is a general check-in and check-out procedure. That means that everyone has to sign in and sign out before they can access the production site or the systems in the control room or management office. Admission to the production site may only be gained with written approval. The corresponding registration transfer will be issued by the Operations Department. Standard personal safety equipment comprises head and eye protection, footwear and appropriate clothing. Additional safety equipment is required for certain operational areas or certain activities. Pay attention to the relevant instructions of the operational facilities. If you are injured, you must record this at the facility and report to your supervisor. If an ambulance is required, dial 112. For external telephones and mobiles, you will need to dial the company access code. Any first aid treatment for injuries and ailments is carried out at the company medical services. Outside of surgery hours, first aid treatment for accidents and acute illnesses is carried out by the site's fire department. Occupational medical examinations are also conducted by the company medical services. 
clothes that have been contaminated by chemical substances must be removed immediately and contaminated skin must be thoroughly washed without delay. Please ensure that you wash your hands before mealtimes and after smoking and visiting the toilet. Skin protection lotion and skin cleansing products are available for you to use. When passing through the factory gates, all personnel must leave the vehicle except for the driver and enter the facility through the turnstiles. The maximum speed limit on the premises is 30 kilometers per hour. However, in some signposted areas, the limit is 10 kilometers per hour. The traffic code regulations accordingly. On certain marked routes, you must give way to traffic approaching from the right. Caution! Specially marked vehicles and rail vehicles always take priority over other vehicles. Vehicles with special signals and rail vehicles always take priority over other vehicles. The rail crossings on the chemical park are not marked. The rail crossings are only indicated at the side gates by the St. Andrew's Cross. Rail vehicles must not be obstructed. You must keep minimum distance of two meters from the rails. In the event of a road accident, dial the emergency number, secure the accident site, and provide assistance. Parking is only permitted in marked bays. You can find your way around the site by means of signposts, building numbers, and route markings. All bicycles used on site must comply with standards in terms of their roadworthiness and equipment. Brakes, bells, lights, reflectors, etc. Lighting should be switched on promptly at dawn and dusk. Cross the rail tracks at the indicated crossing only when you are sure that no rail vehicles are approaching. To avoid getting the wheels stuck in the tracks, cross at an obtuse angle whenever possible. In doing so, pay attention to any reversing vehicles. Bicycles must be parked in the bicycle stands provided. Further information can be found in the Traffic Regulations leaflet, which is available at the gates. Any road traffic interventions from construction works, work at heights or similar, must be coordinated with the Facility Security Office. Please take note of the chemical park-wide instructions regarding what to do in an emergency or in the event of an alarm, as well as the escape and emergency access routes. This details how to report an emergency, how you will be informed of any emergency, and what to do in an emergency situation. If you witness an emergency situation, report this immediately on the emergency number 112. During this call, bear in mind the five key points. Who are you? What's happened? How many injured persons are there? Where has the incident occurred? To gather as much precise information as possible, please specify the building number, the building unit, and the plant unit. Wait for any further questions. Also inform site management or the control room about the hazardous situation. In the event of an alarm, stop working immediately and proceed to the appropriate meeting place or assembly point. The escape and emergency access route map is posted at a central location in each building. Please follow these instructions should an emergency occur. If there is the risk of danger within the building, please go to the next designated assembly point. Take the shortest possible route to get there. If there is a risk of external danger, designated by an alarm signal via the site warning system, go to the nearest meeting place in the building. Wait there for further instructions. Pay attention to the announcements on the site warning system and follow the instructions. Areas closed off due to damage must be accessed on foot or by vehicle. Should the gas alarm sound, all vehicles must be switched off and you must find the nearest building. Should this occur, leave the key in the vehicle's ignition. The site fire service will give the all clear signal by means of an appropriate announcement. Emergency cards are available at the site gates. These summarize what to do in the event of an emergency or an alarm. 
please refer to the cards if there is an emergency situation. Environmental protection is a top priority at the Gendorf Chemical Park. The environmental protection regulations can be obtained from the GEMS. Gendorf Chemical Park has a three-part duct system with three different colors indicating the duct type. Blue, cooling water and storm drain. Green, sanitary wastewater drain. Red, processed wastewater drain. In the event of a substance leak, it is particularly important to protect the river owls and therefore to secure the blue duct. For this purpose, there are yellow water pollution control barrels located at the chemical park site. Should substances leak, the drain inlets, such as gullies or duct covers, must be covered with the tarpaulins and sandbags from the water pollution control unit. However, do not expose yourself to a dangerous situation. Immediately report the substance leak on the emergency number 112. Do not dispose of even the smallest quantities of chemicals in the drainage system, such as sinks or toilets. To ensure that waste is thrown away in an environmentally responsible manner, all refuge and waste must be disposed of at the appropriate disposal site. There is a different collection system for larger volumes. Waste may only be disposed of with operational authorization. Details on how to dispose of waste at the chemical park can be found in the Waste Information Leaflet in the GEMS. Report any environmental violations immediately on the emergency number 112. Below are the key points in summary. Please pay attention to your safety and to the safety of your colleagues. Smoking and drinking alcohol is forbidden. Taking photos and videos is prohibited on the chemical park site. Note that mobile phones may only be used in designated areas. Pets are not allowed on site. Please observe the specified driving speeds and the regulations governing right-of-way. Please conduct yourself appropriately in emergency situations or in the event of an alarm. Emergency cards are available at the site gates. These contain key safety information and explain what to do in an emergency. Should you have any other queries, contact our staff within the relevant specialist department at any time. We thank you for your attention and hope you have a pleasant and safe time while working at the Gendorf Chemical Park.